Bringing a new baby home from the hospital is supposed to be a time of joy, wonder, and excitement. So imagine what it would be like if after a couple months at home, you discovered your perfect baby had a problem. That's what happened to a little girl named Lexi. The bones in her head fused too early and her brain didn't have enough room to grow. Her parents took her to Mayo Clinic for surgery. She had this indent in her forehead. We just kept thinking since she was a big baby that it would pop out sometime. But it didn't. Her eyes and her nose is kind of kind of crooked. Shanda and Lance Mooney learned that their baby Lexi had a condition called craniosynostosis. It is a disorder that occurs in the growth plates of the skull. Hello, hello. Plastic surgeon Dr. Ricky Clay the incisions up here. told Lance and Shanda that without surgery, Lexi would develop problems as she grew. There are several growth plates in the skull that allow it to grow in the proper shape. And if one of those growth plates fuses early, the brain can't grow properly because the skull won't expand, and if it does expand, it will become misshapen. <laughs> Surgery was necessary. All right. Bye, sweetie. Wait, bye, bye. bye See bye. you later. But handing their baby off to doctors wasn't easy. Say bye, bye. During surgery, Dr. Clay, neurosurgeon Dr. Nicholas Legion, and their team opened the fused growth plates. Then they realigned them to allow Lexi's head and brain to grow properly. Shanda and Lance took Lexi home just days after the operation. It was scary to, you know, see her with her eyes swollen shut. And amazingly, two and a half weeks after surgery, Lexi was pretty much acting like herself. And now two and a half months later, she's like any other eight-month-old baby. Lexi, can you say hi? She was just quite the trooper during the whole thing. If Lexi did not have the operation to open the growth plate, she would have been at risk of developmental problems because of increased pressure in her brain. But now she'll be able to live a normal, healthy life. Craniosynostosis is rare. There are 10 to 15,000 cases diagnosed each year in the U.S. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.